In my previous video, I talked about how to play optimally according to the basic strategy of blackjack against the casino. I also talked about how card counting can put the casino at a disadvantage. And now I am going to talk about when to utilize the option of doubling down and splitting cards. You have the option of splitting if you get two cards of the same rank in the first hand, for example, to 8 seconds. However, there are tables where different 10 seconds 10s. Jacks, queens, kings are not always allowed to be split. For example, you can't separate a jack and a ten because they are not of the same rank. There are also tables where two aces cannot be split. If you split in two, you have to make an equal bet as you did at the beginning of the round. The dealer then deals two more cards, that is, one per line. The results of the lines will then be independent of each other, that is, one may win and the other lose. You can also choose to ask for cards for only one of the lines. It is important to note that if you get a blackjack when splitting, then at many tables, the payout is only worth 1x. There are also tables where splitting again is allowed given that one of the lines receives a card of the same value or rank. Let's see when it's worth taking the opportunity to split in two. Fortunately, the table for the basic strategy of blackjack it also covers this. In the description of the video, I placed a link where you can find that table. However, it is important to note here as well that the table may differ depending on what rules the table has. Memorizing this can be a bit tricky first, however, two rules are worth noting. Ace pairs and pairs of 8 are always great for splitting. In contrast, pairs of 5 and 10 should never be split. Now let's look at the feature of doubling down. Doubling can happen immediately after you get your two cards, you will be doubling your bet and you will get only one more additional card. You will no longer be able to request another card for that line. As with splitting, here we have an optimal strategy for doubling too. I also linked this table in the video's description. It may take some time to memorize it, but if you just want to remember one rule, then always double for 11. I hope you enjoyed this short introductory video. For more blackjack related content, then write in a comment about your interest. For example, I can make a video about the insurance or surrender features, or you can watch some of my past blackjack or other kind of live streams. In the video's description, I placed a link to an online casino where I play blackjack. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, it would help me a lot. Thanks for being here. Ciao.